Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to accessing unpublished templates. Today we're going to take a look at a workaround for a common issue that a lot of Shopify users have that comes from this fact about Shopify, that the templates from which you can select when it comes to configuring products, collections, and pages are limited to the templates that are available within your currently published theme. So here we are on my themes panel. I've got an older basic theme loaded up here as my published live theme. So this could be a free theme from Shopify. It could be an older version of an out of the sandbox theme that doesn't have the special template that you're looking to configure versus this Turbo 2.0.9 theme that has been updated and it includes all of the special templates that we have released. As we take a look here and edit HTML, CSS, you will see that there is some special collection templates, there's extra page templates, and there's extra product templates like this product.details template here, with which you can create a robust bottom section for your product pages. So in the scenario that you would like to jump into a product, select this template for it and start configuring it before you publish your new version of the theme, you would probably jump over here to products, you would select the product, but you see down here that there aren't any templates for you to choose from, and that's because the theme that is currently published does not have any of those special templates. As we see here, when we go into edit HTML, CSS, it has the basic suite of templates that would come with a theme, but none of the special templates that we've included in the updated out of the sandbox themes. So if you would like to start configuring a template like that, you need to add that template to the older version of the theme. Now, the special features of that template will not function in your older theme, and we're not even really copying over the code that's associated with the special template. We're just making sure that there is a template within the older theme that has the same name as the template that we would like to edit in the new theme. So as you see here, that is what I've just created, a product.details template right here within the older theme, and it has just the basic code that you would find within the regular product template of this theme. This way, whenever we change the template of a particular product, that product will be unaffected on the current live site, which is exactly what you want as you go through configuring and experimenting with the look of the new product page. So with that complete, you can always head back here into products. And then whenever you open up a product, you will see that you do have the ability of choosing a template we choose that product.details template and we save it. Again, that product will be unaffected on the currently live theme, but then we can go into the unpublished theme, navigate to the product in the customized theme window, and then start to configure its settings. Now, all of that is covered in another video that's about accessing all of your settings, so go check that one out if you need any more details on that. Don't forget that this also applies to your collection templates and this applies to your page templates as well. So if you are looking to configure any of those special templates, be sure to add a copy within your currently published theme that has the exact same name as the special template that you're looking to configure. If you had any questions or you hit any snags, head on over to support.outofthesandbox.com where you can look up your question and find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. Take care.